Hi guys, it's Dobby and I'm going to work on a, a poured painting. I'm going to try something a little different today. I mean, not totally different. We've probably done it all, all this stuff a million times, but I'm just going to do two different techniques in it. I'm going to pour some on and then I'm, it just depends on what it looks like. I'm going to try something different. We'll see. So, um, my paints, I've all been thinned down with golden pouring medium and um let's see what else um that's about it i'm gonna put it on a canvas so i'm gonna pull you down <laughs> okay um this is 16 by 20. i just got a couple little lids right here um and i forgot to mention it i'm going to put on some some latex some white latex I'm going to put a layer of that on right now. Just trying to get the can to open up. I want to make sure it's going to move real easy. So that's why I'm doing this. And, okay. So I'm just going to scoop some out of there and uh. Now, if you're using a really cheap latex, that's probably the best. This one is not one of the cheaper ones. So, I am going to thin it a little bit. And this is it's pretty important to make sure that it's um you know a little bit thinner not too thin it's thin to the consistency of maybe a cheaper paint so because i just want to make sure it's going to flow across here that's all i'm all i'm trying to achieve is to make sure that it's going to go across there Sorry about the little delay there, I apologize. See, it's a little bit thinner now. It was a little bit thicker, and um, it's not needed, because I don't want to, I just want it to stay a little thin. So if you're seeing too many brush lines as you're putting it on, that's a sign that it's a little too thick. So, say so like right now, they're kind of blending in real easily, but you probably didn't notice that a minute ago, but white and white it's hard to see um, so I just want a thin little layer on here okay now you could put it on and add a little spray of water if you felt um, if you felt it needs that and that would help also you don't want to put too much of that on. Who knows what kind of effect you might get with that. Yes. Okay, so... I just kind of want it to cover everything. Let's see, there's a thin layer here. This is not going to sit real evenly, I don't think. There's something I want to... I want to splatter some paint on and want put it on this. I can take it off. Put it on these two lids. And I splatter it on. Okay. This is probably not real important to have this on, but hey, you can do exactly what you want to do. That's what I felt I needed to do. So, okay, so right now I am going to do my first set of colors. Mm. Bit of orange, <clears throat> excuse me, and remember, no silicone has been added to this. So, so if you're pouring them out and you realize they're too thick, see a big clunk went in there. <laughs> Ugh. That may not show up. If it shows up, you can just pull it out. I always I like to pre-mix my stuff. I think I've told you. That a few times and 
now that I think I could leave it at that. Maybe just a little touch of red again. Okay. Okay, for the first part of this, I'm going to just kind of throw it on here. Make sure the canvas is on there pretty good. So I might tilt it up a little bit. I don't want to get any on me, but... Maybe I won't throw it too hard. <laughs> Ugh, did it come out? Did you see that? It didn't splash out like I was hoping it would do. Uh, okay, so maybe it should have been thinner. <laughs> oh, well. It doesn't matter. I can still achieve what I'm planning on doing. So, I think I'm going to just run this around. You see, I just dropped the cup on there. I plan on throwing it, splashing it on. So this is on there pretty thick. So I had plenty of paint. See, it's picking up some of the white from underneath, and it's pulling it up on top, which is kind of nice. And that's where you're getting the, the cells at from that. So I kind of want to have a little more um, color variation on this. So I think I'm just going to just try to pour a little bit on there. As with these abstract paintings, as much control and thought out as you want ahead of time, it's, yeah, I could do this again in just a few minutes, same situation. It is not going to look the same as this one does. So, um, obviously, this is not what I expected it to look like, but hey. I'm just trying to get it to look a little like, um, not like I got it, uh, like something ugh, created out of nature maybe. I don't know how to explain. Just I'm just moving it until I feel like I need to stop. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Look yucky right now, I know. <laughs> never fear. You'll never see it if it doesn't turn out. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Okay, so... Um, now, the next part, I want to have a little more control because this next part that I'm planning on doing is... Um, you know, where we're going to be finishing it. So we want to have a little more control on this next thing I want to do. I'm going to add in some other colors now. And what I planned on doing is putting it in. Now, you can put it in a little. You can put it on, um, let's see. The only thing I have is, you know, one of these with a hole on both sides. Now, I've seen little ones you can use. I don't have a littler one. If I did, I'd probably use something like that. 
but because I don't, I just have a cup that I've got a hole in the bottom, an old cup here. <laughs> and see the little hole in the bottom? Okay. Alrighty. So now this part I am going to put in, and I want to control where some of these colors are going. So <clears throat> let's just start right in there. And I'm going to put in some... A little purple. Ooh. Did you see that? <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if you've seen that either. There was a couple chunks that went in there. I didn't see the chunk on here that went in. Sometimes, you know, hey, it is what it is. Okay, so... With this step, when you put it in this cup, you can always keep adding more, which that's a nice thing. You can just keep adding until you get, you know, if you want to add more and you run out, you can just add a little bit more and put it on in there. So, okay, so this is plenty of pink because I want to leave, I'm going to, you know, in the end here, I might take that off of there. And Okay, so here we go. So this is a... So I'm lifting it up a little bit. Just gives you, I know yours is going to look completely different than this because you can't, you can't repeat this no matter how hard you try. So, oops. all I wanted to do on this second part of the painting was have a little control over and pull in something just a little different and, um, the first part I was just going to splash it on. <laughs> so now all I'm doing is going to, you know, just drag stuff to where I think it would look nicer at. And I could still do it with the little tiny bit that's left in this cup. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is just play with this. And I'm just going to, if I wasn't recording, I mean, you got enough paint on here, you could play play for quite a while, you know, and until you think it's done. So... There's some areas in here I like. I kind of like that differentness right there. And I like just little different things going on. So as I see something I like, I'll, I'll try not to ruin it. <laughs> now, you can see there's, as I said, there's no silicone or anything in this. But we're still getting the cells. And that's just... That's what you're going to have happen. Anyways, just...
sounds like, I don't know if you can hear, it sounds like it's raining outside here. We haven't had rain in a while. I don't know, it's that or fireworks. It must be raining. If it's raining, it's raining pretty hard. No, like it's clear out there. It was fireworks, guys. <laughs> Must have been a whole bunch of little... I don't know if you could pick that up, but I could hear it in here. Okay, the part I really liked is gone. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling, but I didn't like the rest of it. So, you know, it's... I had a total different vision. <laughs> total different than this. So, I think I'm going to put on some white. Let's see what we got going here. I'm going to put some white on. And I'm going to have to stretch my paper towels. I'm at the very end of the roll and I didn't buy any. I'm in here painting. It's like, oh shoot. I'm determined this is going to turn out. <laughs> oh. I'm determined. So if I use up all that white, I'll just quickly make some more. Well, you guys get the idea of what I was trying to do anyways I'm trying to I was just trying to create an abstract doing it a little bit different than what normally we do and so I was thinking if I pour it on throw it on I don't know what you guys think, but I'm starting to like it. It went a whole different direction than what I expected it to go, but that's the way these work. You just got to be willing to go with the flow on some of these. Ah, and if all else fails, what I could have done is taken black, thin down black with, you know, whatever pouring meaning you want to thin it down with, and... Put a layer here or white on each end or whatever end you want to put in. Scrape it down. And I'm going to do one like that and try to make a landscape out of it eventually here once I get a little more time. So. I think if I, I think honestly, um, I'm getting near the finish on this one. Just a little more motion, motion there, and then maybe right in here. Just 
bringing it through like the rest of the painting. So guys, even though this didn't turn out like I really had visioned, you have no idea what I visioned. <laughs> Nothing like this, but this is it. <laughs> this one is done for now. Now, um, as you can see, you know what? We could hit it with a torch, see if it's going to change too much. I really don't want it to, to change very much anymore. I'm kind of happy with the way it is. But, <clears throat> I like that in there. There we go, guys. I don't think that changed it too much. Okay. Well, this is my abstract for the day. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. And if you have any questions, please put them down below in the comments. And if I can answer them, I will. So, hey, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.